Before the word labor became Labor Day sale, it was associated with one of two things, either hard physical work or the hard physical work of having a baby. In tonight's special Labor Day edition of Travels with Charlie, we consider the first definition as it applied to life on Delmarva Farms between the Civil War and the Cold War. Our story begins and eventually ends at the Unicorn Bookshop in Trap, Maryland. Since 1975, the domain of Jim Dawson, the Unicorn is a sacred repository of over 30,000 secondhand books, ranging from what Jim calls the average to the rare. It's also, hands down, the place to go for all things Delmarva. Unicorn Bookshop. For Jim Dawson's not just a bookseller, he's an historian, author, and publisher with an insatiable curiosity about the past. In our first meeting in 2010, we realized that his curiosity was as natural to him as his affable nature. And it was that curiosity that led to his latest opus. 100 years of change on the Eastern Shore, the Willis Family Journals, 1847 to 1951. The journal started sort of just a brief farm journal. By about 1850, Nicholas Willis, the first generation to do the journals, was making daily entries. But the more he did it, the more he got into it, the more he wrote about. The journals begin with the building of this stately home on Island Creek in Talbot County and include every important event from before the Civil War to the Cold War. Nicholas just wrote about everything. He could fix anything, he could make anything. As a farmer, he was a slave owner. He was middle class, he wasn't rich and subsistence, but he, in a sense, is working alongside his slaves. But this family journal is the day-to-day -day story of people who together, black and white, slave and free, built a nation. This is not a voice we've heard before. It's a middle-class voice, and they're writing on virtually anything that affected them or interested them. And it's not only pertinent to Tarlett County, but the Eastern Shore or Maryland, but just the history. I've never seen diaries like these, ever. The written word brings more true when we can see the writer. The family also, beginning in the 1890s, took a lot of photographs. So the photographic record is perhaps more remarkable than the written record. We're fortunate today that the Willis family recorded their lives for posterity, but even more fortunate that Mr. Jim Dawson has given them to us. In Talbot County, this is Charles Paparella for WBOC News. You can purchase the book 100 Years of Change through Amazon, local bookstores, and of course at the Unicorn Bookshop in Trap.